Hi, I'm Agnes from Bellevue. Please like and subscribe. My mom was a maid at a big mansion, and we both lived in a small room there. It wasn't bad, but I always wondered what the other big rooms were like. Once when I was four, I sneaked upstairs for the first time and walked into a fancy bedroom. There was a giant bed, and whoa, it was so soft and bouncy. I climbed up on it and jumped like crazy. Suddenly, someone came out of the restroom and shouted, You! What are you doing in my room? That was Mrs. Darcy, the rich lady who owned the house with her husband. I immediately jumped down and tried to run away, but I bumped into Mr. Darcy at the door. What's this girl doing here? Isn't she the maid's daughter? Yes, honey. I don't know why she's here. Let me check if she's stolen something. No, nothing. But can I take this bed? Um, but then where will you sleep? So can I just jump on it one last time, please? <laughs> oh, this girl is smart and cute. He put me back on the bed and said I could play there for as long as I wanted. He was so sweet. But seeing Mrs. Darcy glaring at me, I ran out that instant. A few days later, we heard Mrs. Darcy was pregnant, and soon little Bella was born. Though she was four years younger than me, we grew up like best pals. And when it was Bella's time for school, she insisted that I leave my public school and join hers instead. And Mr. Darcy happily agreed. I was super nervous about the new school, but my classmates were cool and I made friends quickly. I was doing really well in my lessons too, but sadly, Bella got all Fs in her exams. From that day on, I started helping Bella with her homework. Soon I realized something though. She wasn't reading or writing at a normal pace like other kids. I tried speaking to Mr. Darcy, but his wife would never let me near him. So when Bella got bad grades again, I went with her to get the report card signed by her parents. Mr. Darcy looked a bit upset, but her mom wasn't bothered at all. Come on, honey, she has years to learn. Relax. But ma'am, I think Bella has some difficulty in learning. Don't bluff, cause you got all A's. You're not some teacher. My daughter is perfectly fine. She even tried to prove it a few days later at Mr. Darcy's birthday party, announcing that Bella was gonna read out a poem for her dad. Oh, poor girl. She was stuttering at the very first line and everybody was staring at her. I couldn't see my best friend breaking down. I walked up to her and took the mic from her. I, uh, I think Bella is very nervous today. Come on, let's just read it together. And Bella whispered, I love you, Agnes. But this incident got Mr. Darcy's attention, and he came to school the next day to talk to her teachers, who told him Bella had dyslexia. That's when Mr. Darcy arranged for a special tutor for Bella, and I continued helping her with her homework and test prep too. Years passed, and she was improving steadily. Finally, in sixth grade, when Bella got straight A's, nobody was happier than me, and the Darcys even threw a celebration party. I was helping my mom in the kitchen when I heard Mr. Darcy calling out my name. I peeped out and he signaled me to join them. Come on, Agnes, you're the real angel today. The one who understood Bella more than us and helped her always. This party is for you. As he gently pulled me in, Mrs. Darcy looked furious. And in the photo shoot that followed, he literally glued me with Bella in every shot. It was a bit embarrassing, but holding Bella's hand like a sister made me quite happy. But suddenly, Bella shook off my hand and shouted, Dad, I'm tired. Can we stop this rubbish, please? And with that, she stormed off. What was going on with her? And the next morning, she'd just taken the car and driver and gone to school without me. I was too late to even catch the bus now. Just then, Mr. Darcy was heading out and offered to drop me off. During recess, I found her in the cafeteria. I walked up to her and took her hand. Hey, why'd you leave me this morning? Get your filthy hands off me, you maid. Wait, what did she just say? The whole cafeteria turned towards us and Bella looked raging mad. Why did my dad drop you at school today? Cause you left me behind, Bella. Call me Miss Bella. Fine, Miss Bella. And you call me, well, don't call me anything. I'm so disappointed in you. I pushed her back to her seat, but she missed and fell on the floor. I tried to pick her up, but she dragged me down and pulled my hair. We were wrestling on the floor with all the kids cheering around us when some teachers pulled us apart and gave us both a month's detention. I was so angry, I just stopped talking to her. 
Why had she become Mrs. Junior Darcy suddenly? Soon after, Bella's uncle came from Canada to visit the family, and she turned happy immediately because he was her favorite. One evening, I was sitting in the kitchen doing my homework when he came in, and he seemed really impressed by the math problems I'd just worked on. Well, clearly you're a very bright kid, but do you ever have fun too, or are you always studying? Oh, no, I love to sing and dance. Uh, you sing? That's awesome, let's hear something. He led me to the main hall and started playing a song on the piano, and I sang along. Mr. Darcy was very amused, but just then I caught sight of Mrs. Darcy and Bella's faces. They looked like furious dragon sisters. Later that night, Mom told me Bella wanted to see me in her room. What did she want? Reluctantly, I knocked and went in. And she started throwing stuff at my face! Our matching headbands, friendship bracelets, birthday gifts, everything! She went berserk! Take all this trash, you devil! Why are you always taking over my life? First, you got close to my dad, now my uncle too? What? Look, I never wanted your life. Besides, but she just pushed me against the wall angrily. And that's when I saw a picture of me and her behind the door with dart pins stuck to my face. You did this? You've become a freaking psycho. Mind your words, maid. You're talking to the princess of this house. Going by the way you're behaving? I'd rather call you a witch. I pushed her away and left the room. I was super upset by everything. Mr. Darcy's brother was leaving the next day and he said something that left me shocked. Turns out, he was a teacher in a Canadian private school for gifted kids. After knowing about my grades, he said he could have me study there on full scholarship and make living arrangements for me and mom. It sounded amazing. I jumped and hugged mom, who looked at the Darcy's for approval. Oh, wow, this is an excellent opportunity for your future, Agnes. You have to go for it. But suddenly, Mrs. Darcy went ballistic. No, she can't, she won't. How dare your brother just show up and steal my maids. He has no business doing that. We are already sending Agnes to a great school and giving her a good life. They are not leaving and that's final. Not another word about it. Bella's uncle looked uncomfortable and quickly left and I felt furious. Before I could stop myself, I shouted, You've never liked me, Mrs. Darcy, and now you've made it clear that you don't want anything good to happen to me. I'm gonna leave someday for sure, and you won't be able to stop me then. I ran away before she could reply, and from that day, I stayed away from the family as much as possible. Soon it was Christmas, and I woke up that morning to see a beautiful dress on my bed. Mom said Mr. Darcy had sent it for me and requested me to join their party later. I didn't have the heart to refuse him, so I dressed up and went down that evening and bumped straight into Bella, who was wearing the exact same dress. Oh, how lovely. You both look like sisters. That's why I bought them. How do you like the surprise, girls? I smiled uncomfortably and looked at Bella. She was clenching her jaw. Like the surprise? It's the worst thing you've ever done, Dad. I don't want to look anything like this poor loser. Suddenly, she took a pair of scissors, marched towards me, and started cutting my dress right in front of everyone. Oh my god. Mr. Darcy stepped forward, but Mrs. Darcy got to Bella first and snatched the scissors from her. Have you completely lost your mind, Bella? You could have hurt her. Oh, now you're on her side too, Mom? Of course you are. I'm not surprised. I hate you all. And with that, she stormed off to her room. What was frickin' wrong with her? She'd ruined the party for everyone. A few days later, we had the annual Parents' Day, and I was gonna sing a song. Right in the middle of my performance, the sound system got messed up and my mic stopped working. Just then, a voice started coming through the speakers. Hi everyone, meet Agnes the Thief. She steals moms, dads, and sometimes the lives of rich people. Holy heavens, it was Bella. I ran backstage and caught her red-handed. I jumped on her and started hitting her with the mic. When the teachers arrived on the scene, we were both suspended and sent home. I can't believe you did this, Bella. I didn't raise you this way. Yes, you're getting out of control. I'm thinking we should send you to boarding school. Yeah, that's great. Send me away, because you have your perfect daughter Agnes by your side, don't you? 
Oh, come on, Mom. Why don't you tell Dad the truth now? Wait, what was she talking about? I looked at Mrs. Darcy, who turned white as a ghost. What, what do you mean, Bella? You are my perfect daughter. Enough of your lies. I can't hold this in anymore. She ran to her room and returned with a piece of paper that she threw at my face. I found this in the attic one day, which proves this moron is also your daughter, Mom. Everyone looked as shocked as I felt. The paper was my birth certificate, and Mrs. Darcy's name was there as my mother. Stunned, I looked at Mom, who then told everyone that Mrs. Darcy had gotten pregnant with me before her marriage and had to hide it and marry Mr. Darcy. She'd given me to my mom to be raised in front of her eyes. What the frickin' what? I'm Mrs. Darcy's daughter? I... I can't believe this. So my whole marriage is based on a lie? You kept something so big from me all this time? I can't even look at you, at both of you. He walked out of the room and Mrs. Darcy burst into tears. I'm sorry I hid this from you, Agnes, but it wasn't my secret. But now you know everything, and you're one of the Darcys. You can choose to be with them, or... I'm not crazy. To leave a true, loving mom for someone who was ashamed to have me and hates me till now? Agnes, I don't hate you. I just pretended to be mean so that nobody would see how much I actually love you. I only tried keeping you away from the family so my husband wouldn't sense things and discover the truth. And I didn't let you go to Canada because I couldn't bear for you to be away from me. I I'm so sorry. She tried to hold my hand, but I took Mom's hand and walked out of that house forever. Mom got another job as a maid and I joined the public school, and I tried to put the Darcys out of my mind. Until one day, I got an unexpected visitor. Bella? What now? I'm tired of getting hated. And I'm tired of hating you, sis. She started crying. I'm so sorry, Agnes. I just got so jealous when Dad was always so proud of you. And I got more insecure when I found out that you're Mom's real daughter. But the truth is, I've always loved you as a friend. And isn't it amazing that we're actually sisters? Please, try and forgive me. I know I've behaved terribly. Please come back. She was like my little sister always, and my heart melted a bit. Bella, I forgive you, but I can't come back. Mr. Darcy probably hates me now, and I don't know how I feel about Mrs. Darcy. Just then, Mr. Darcy appeared from behind the door and took my hand. Of course, I don't hate you. It was a huge shock at first, but I've forgiven my wife. I understand she only did everything out of love for you. She misses you terribly. Please, give her a chance. I looked back at mom who nodded at me and smiled. Okay, I will.